California is not short of coastline, and therein lies a problem. Because waves lapping at the shore might sound romantic now in 2017, given a few decades, it could be disastrous further inland. After years of drought, the heavy rain came to California this winter. And with ocean levels rising, experts are worried about what happens next. It will affect everyone. They've been monitoring the sea levels here for years. And here's what the science says. The sea level is rising, and it's rising faster than ever before in modern history. The prognosis is not good. Right now, we have problems of flooding from storm surges, from El Ninos, from high tides, waves superimposed upon high tides, and of course events like Sandy and Katrina. And, and the, the frequency of those events, the intensity of those events will increase with climate change and they will be superimposed upon a higher stand of sea level. So they have more destructive power. That is the Pacific coast, and look at that. What an amazing view. If you live up here on higher ground, you're going to be paying an absolute fortune for that view, but you're also going to be much safer. If you live on lower ground, then time is very slowly running out. In fact, experts say by the end of this century, some 13 million people living along US coastlines will be forced to move to higher ground. And we're not just talking about homes here. That would be bad enough. We're also talking about all of those things that keep a city ticking along. Refineries bringing gas to US cars, huge airports built near the coast, relocating, ocean proofing, building major infrastructure, all of it costly. Long term, this is, this is going to be billions of dollars. That's the assessment of this expert who raises another critical issue. We also get a lot of our groundwater from coastal aquifers, and with sea level rise, we're going to have more seawater intrusion, and so we could lose more of our local water supplies if we don't put in um, injection barriers to ensure that seawater doesn't get into and contaminate our groundwater basins. And so that's, that's a very, very big concern. A study at the end of the last decade put $100 billion worth of property at risk, much of it near San Francisco Bay. Add to the mix any damage from a major earthquake or a potential tsunami, and the worry is real. The melting Arctic glaciers may be a long way from here, but the tide is turning around the world, and it is coming ever closer. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.